In this video, we're talking about place value and expanded notation. And we've been asked to use expanded notation to rewrite 500 and to rewrite 1,281. But first I wanna talk about place value. I've written a number here, 5,555,555.5. Five 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 five, and this is just to illustrate the value of each place in this number. So this is what we call place value here. This five, this first five, is in the ones place or the units place. If we just had this and nothing else, it would just be the number five. This number here, this five, is in the tens place, and if we just had the five in the tens place and the five in the ones place, we would have the number. 55. Then we have the five in the hundredths place, the five in the thousandths place, ten thousandths place, one thousandths place, and the millionth place. And you can keep going, but this is as far as we'll go for now. So in other words, when you're describing a place value to the left of the decimal place, you're talking about the ones place or units place, tens place, hundreds place, they all end in S. So you can say the hundreds and write 100 followed by an S, one hundreds place, one thousands place, ten thousands place, hundred thousands place, etc. When you're talking about a number to the right of the decimal point, you're talking about the tenths place, the one hundredths place, the one thousandths place. In other words, they all end in THS is the suffix. So the tenths place is distinguished from the tens place, which is on the other side of the decimal. And remember that every value to the right of the decimal place just represents a fraction. So because this five is in the tenths place, it represents five tenths. So five tenths, which is the same as one half. We have here a five in the hundredths place, which is the same as five over 100, which is of course just one over 20. And you keep going and say that we have a five in the thousandth place, a five in the ten thousandth place, etc. So those are all fractions. If we want to rewrite a whole number in expanded notation, we just take the number in each place and multiply it by its corresponding place. So in other words, here in this number 500, we have a five in the hundreds place. So we say five times 100. We have a zero in the tens place. So we add to that a zero times 10, and we have a zero in the units place or the ones place, so we add to that zero times one. And then we just simplify. Obviously, these are both going to be zero here. Five times 100 is 500, but this is expanded notation. We can do the same thing here. If we want to write 1281 in expanded notation, we just need to realize that we have one in the thousands place, that we have two in the hundreds place here that we have an eight in the tens place and that we have a one in the ones place or units place. And when we do that, when we realize that, we're gonna multiply each of these numbers by its place down here. So we're gonna say one times 1,000, so one times 1,000. Then we add to that two times 100. Then we add to that eight times 10, so eight times 10, and finally one times one. And this is expanded notation. And if you did this computation, if you did one times 1,000, you'd of course get 1,000. Two times 100 is 200. Eight times 10 is 80, and one times one is one. And if you add these all together, you'll get 1,281, which is why expanded notation here works. And of course you can do the same thing down here with fractions for the values to the right of the decimal place, just like we did with 5 tenths and 5 one hundredths. So for example, if you were given here 0.55, if you had this 0.55 right here, you would just take the five in the tenths place and you would get five over 10. And then you would take the five in the hundredths place and you'd get five over 100. So instead of here, we took each number and we multiplied it by its place. Here we're going to take each number and divide it by its place. So you multiply by the place if it's to the left of the decimal point, you divide by the place if it's to the right of the decimal point. So we'd get 5 over 10 plus 5 over 100. And if we did this computation, of course, we'd see that we'd get back to 55 over 100, which we know we have here, 55 over 100, which is the same, of course, as 11 over 20. 
But either way, the most important things to remember about place value is that all the places to the left of the decimal point have this suffix of s, all of the places to the right of the decimal point have the suffix ths, so we say the tens place to the left of the decimal point and the tenths place to the right of the decimal point. And when you want to write a number in expanded notation, you take the numbers to the left of the decimal point and you multiply them by their place, and you take the numbers to the right of the decimal point and you divide them by their place.